for live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. It's been a bit of a warm and muggy night compared to uh, recent nights, and you can see that the effect of that Mugginess leading to some fog along the coastline, including here in Newport Harbor. In fact, the fog getting a little thicker here over the last half hour or so, traveling further up the bay, not finding that to be an issue. But we do have the last bit of cloud cover going to be moving out. Our visibility ranging from under two miles, Newport, Narragansett, and Block Island to unrestricted and westerly in Providence right now. Looking ahead to our threat tracker, no severe weather expected early this week. Keep an eye on Tuesday evening, slight chance of an isolated thunderstorm there. So we did have some showers try to at least pass through the area overnight. Most of that activity remaining well south and east of us. And the front that's bringing that uh, risk of showers and thunderstorms moving offshore today, and that's going to lead to dry weather for us and temperatures that'll be warm, especially given this warm start that we have. About 70 degrees in Newport, 71 in Providence, 70 in New Bedford, and 72 degrees in Westerly. It does start off muggy today. Dew points are in the mid-60s right now and expected to stay that way through about midday. But as the afternoon goes on, those dew points fall to near 60, which for mid-August, is very comfortable. So improving conditions with our humidity over the next 12 hours. Monday, nice air mass in place, warm and dry. Muggy air returns briefly on Tuesday and then starts to drop again on Wednesday. So here's our cold front still sitting to our west. This will move out through the afternoon hours and that's what will bring about the drier air for us. So notice the back edge of the thicker cloud cover still trying to work its way across Rhode Island. The trend will be for that to move east. So notice by 8 a.m. Lots of sunshine developing for the afternoon hours and we stay dry and comfortable this evening. It'll be a warm summer day for us well into the 80s for our highs today. And then as we wake up tomorrow morning, comfortable air in place. Temperatures tonight going to be falling back into the lower 60s. Today though, again, it's been a warm start, upper 60s to low 70s early this morning. We approach 9 a.m. mid to upper 70s. And by midday today, we'll be between 80 and 83 degrees across most of Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts and even the coastline today makes it into the low to mid 80s. Nice finish to the day as the humidity drops. Middle 80s, Narragansett, Charlestown, Hope Valley near 84, Burrowville at 82, Johnston in the middle 80s, East Providence at 85. The winds stay out of the west northwest, which means that land breeze will keep even the shoreline. Uh, warm today right at the beach, about 79 degrees. Heads up if you're planning on making it a beach day. The seas are a little bit rougher, so that's going to increase our risk of rip currents in local waters. Moderate risk there. If you're headed out on the bay today, the small craft advisory is in effect for the sound, not for the bay, but we will see a few gusts to 20 knots, and that will bring the wave height, especially the bay entrance, as high as 2 to 3 feet. High tide is... Uh, between 12 and 1 o'clock this afternoon. For the evening hours, we'll be dropping from the 80s into the 70s. Comfortable night tonight. Overnight lows falling to around 63. Dry and mostly clear. More comfortable than what we've had last night. Seven-day future cast. This is a pretty good looking week for us. 83 degrees on Sunday. Monday near 82. We have that slight chance of a thunderstorm for your Tuesday. Wednesday's high around 84, and that should say about 80 degrees on Thursday. I think I might have, might have put an extra space in between the high and low there. We'll get that fixed for you. Friday's our best shot of seeing a shower, actually Thursday night into Friday. Okay, that's so far off at this point. Keep an eye on it. Looks